Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm on that yell here back at it with another video. Without further ado, here, let's get into the video. So where we left off, we were actually chasing a uh, wolf attacked our den. Um, and we're currently chasing them out of our territory. And we also are probably gonna hunt. Okay. Um. I mentioned in the previous episode, as soon as we hit 24% please, we're just gonna, we're not gonna actually go denless. We're gonna move to a den that's like down in uh, this 43% hit. I know where the den is, and I kind of want to use it, like, it's relatively close to our rendezvous site, and it's wooded, and I really don't want to lose any pups this litter because... I've noticed that a few actually might get some NPC coats. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I've also just uh, run into some pretty unique uh, tints that I've never seen before. At all. Uh, throughout my history of having litters. Okay, so they'd be over this hill. I'm guessing, yeah, yo. Okay, this is a pretty small herd. Okay, the funny thing with elk is they take one look at Luna and they're off running. Like scared little puppies. But with some of my other wolves, who they should be more scared of because they've actually got stronger um they just don't run scared although luna has gotten quite that which is quite aggressive so that could probably be it that's besides the point hey don't hit me that hurt um we're already and we've already got a minor injury i'm not looking for a major one So he can actually go feed the pups. I want to 
gonna try and trigger him to howl again. He also does have a crooked tail as well. See? It automatically tucks. This is actually a very cute photo. With Cerberus trying to play and Luna howling. We're probably gonna get it from this angle so that we can see it the best. Okay, so I take photography, um, I do photography, uh, like, some words I completely say wrong, almost, so bear with me here, but I take photography, and, like, this year, I think I'm gonna be working on, like, lighting more, I guess, because I'm no longer in the beginner class, or I'm more in the... <clears throat> I'm in the higher class. So we're gonna go up to that uh, 68 percent hex now, 68 percent, because I guess both me and my mate howled. But yeah, you get the idea. Also, I am so used to playing with wolves that don't have the good memory perk or the health perception perk. I usually forget to, um, I usually forget about these perks or even remember to use them. Or when it st starts working, I'm just like, what? Or if I'm making a multiplayer game and I'm like, show all dens and stuff. <clears throat> like, I'm like, okay, how do we, you know? Or the fact that each den has its own shape, I guess. Did they make an update for that? I swear they did, because... No, they didn't. Okay. I thought the, like, rock dens looked different on the map. They don't. Also, um, okay, so I got a question, uh, for anybody who has gotten a wolf to age eight. Can you edit their bio after they've died, or can you not? Because if you can, then I will be able to edit Luna's bio for the very last thing that I can add to it, which will be, like, either if she did make it to age 8, I can be like, she made it through her age 8 litter, blah, 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 or if she didn't, I can be like, blah, blah, you know, enter something in her bio about how, and, like, how her pups were raised. Um... You know, like, it's just these tiny little details that I love to add to my wolves' bios. And I'm just like, hmm, I wonder. It's a debacle, but... I can't wait to have a computer that runs a whole lot smoother. Planning on getting a gaming PC. And our minor jaw injury has healed. I can't wait to have a nice computer where I can run on stupendous graphics and still have like, and have FPS in like, somewhere between the 40s and the 70s. That would be awesome. Having a nice smooth running game.
also when the saga comes out um so weo is like the pack seer i've i've done this in like a, i've done a whole wolf talk about this but um so weo is the pack seer and she's one of luna's pups and um so she's had a vision where luna passes but then a few years later it's reincarnated um and she but and like luna looks very similar to what she did when she was younger of course so i'm actually gonna need y'all to decide which coat should i give miss luna here for her reincarnation for her like rebirth almost should i give her the 9f coat which is the coat she has now or should i give her the luna coat with a slight redder tint because that's um how she looked when she was really young so for role play purposes i am um, she actually did her she always had this coat um always except for her when she was really a lot younger um you couldn't see as much of, of much as much of, of the patterning um and how like really truly beautiful it was because she had such a dark tint to her that it was like very hard to see but then as she got older and her coat got lighter with age um she it like her actual coat started to appear more and it started to look a lot prettier and stuff like that Oram, really? What are you still doing in that territory? I wish you could still growl when you had food in your mouth. That would be awesome. Let's make sure he's running straight on out of our territory. had problems with Prospect uh, Peak, but Luna hasn't as much. So, for uh, roleplay purposes, we're gonna say that June did something to make Prospect Peak um, angry again, and like Prospect Peak could try to find out where he lived, but Luna was currently staying at the den that he would use a lot of the time den that prospect peak thought he was at so they wound up attacking luna because luna and june both looked very similar and they didn't see cerberus who is a lot bigger than maple in a completely different coat um and attacked her and her pups and then realizing that they attacked the wrong wolf that's how they were scared away so easily say happened for roleplay purposes. And 4M looks incredibly similar. see this okay he looks incredibly similar to Pisces her pup but he's got a smaller neck rough and a flat ear so it's not completely um similar sorry I just had to because for whenever I see a wolf that looks uncant um like so similar to a wolf that it's almost like it was actually one of her pups. I always, for roleplay purposes only, say that one of um, her pups like found 
a mate in like a different pack and they went to that pack. But that's only every once in a while. Prospect Peak 4M is pretty slow in the water. energetic side and she's always kept up that energy no matter her age because her current age right now is quote unquote 11 because that's her canon age for lore purposes but her age in the game is 7 but we're not going to pay attention to it Let's just pretend it's 11 but she hasn't gotten weak enough to be considered an elder wolf she's still um Pretty, uh, chipper, I guess. So, faster as I kind of chase them at their heels with my tail high looking all confident. Also, uh, fun fact that um, some of y'all, um, y'all, if you didn't own dogs, may not know is wolves and dogs will both like make their, the fur on their back stand up and they will raise their tail to make them look as big as possible, even if they're relatively small. Um, but if your dog is pretty small, like mine is, she is a Jack Russell Chihuahua cross. They're little demons, but they're adorable. Um, absolute menace. She does the same thing. I wish I would have that feature to the game where if you were ever face to face with like any sort of predator, it like, it would automatically do that. And it was like detail you could notice in the game. That would be awesome. Okay. How, how far are they out of our territory yet? Okay, yeah, we still got a ways to go. This is annoying. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> okay, so uh, Prospect's Peak has surrounded Crevice Lake's home hex, so they're kind of stuck. And then there's some territory over here. And I'm guessing some of their pups are stuck here. And then the alpha um, male and female, or the breeding pair, are stuck there taking care of pups all by themselves. I bet there's going to be a whole war between territory with Prospect Peak and Crevice Lake going on. And Prospect Peak is currently winning and being a stronger wolf, although... Um, for, like, roleplay purpose sake, we're going to say one of Luna's pups, um, after she passes, like, takes over all of this territory, um... 
and becomes like ruler of her kingdom again. And then we've also got June, but June is already pretty old. So kind of like put him to the side because he's also the runt. So uh, for role, role play purposes, we're gonna say one of Luna's pups takes over this whole kingdom, whoever it may be, and like they're in the middle of like this whole war and everything, but they keep up Luna's legacy. And the legend of the like black this black wolf who was like very gorgeous, um, but very aggressive. And like they just keep up the whole legacy and everything. That would be really cool. I cannot wait to see which wolf that will be. So what happens whenever um, we finish a wolf series, I mean, se not series, season, and we uh, pick, when we're about to pick an heir for the next, for uh, once they finish, for either to carry on the Lotus Moon Pack le legacy to go on to generation, what, six now? After uh, generation five finishes up with um, Molly, you will have two or three weeks, depending on how many wolves we have wolves we have going at the time, to vote. Okay? And I will cover this in the next time that we pick an heir or heiress, which will probably be next week with June, because his pups are pretty big and they're pretty close to finishing, like, their quests. The, like, quests for, like, the, um, both at the run of the circuit. There we go. Um, I will cover this again in the when we do show off the pups, and then we'll go into more detail. So, yeah. any of my wolves where like I have to like write down the names of pups for the next episode um for when we like film with the pups I will probably stream those and we can like work on it together and we can chat and stuff while that happens because I get bored while doing that and sometimes it takes me a long time depending on how many wolves we have to look at like, let's say, one of our wolves had seven puppies. That's a lot of names to write down, and that's going to take me a while. Especially in person. Especially, especially, if some of the letters I've never had to write down before, or at least in, like, a lowercase letter, or in a, sequ a sequence of letters together that I haven't done before, you know, stuff like that. May it is gonna take some time, so it would be fun to chat with y'all on a live stream when I do that. And like I said, uh, t Tuesday, I will probably I do a live stream where I like color in my coloring book, but it's a Christmas coloring book, and we can chat and stuff. would be very fun to do. The episode, this episode is Tuesday's episode. Ha! Huh. So, this one goes up at 4 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time. So, I will probably stream when you see this, um, if you see this on time, I will probably stream somewhere around five o'clock, uh, five o'clock, not, like, my time, because I know that will work for any of my American viewers, at least, 
I don't know about anybody else. Because I know for Eastern Standard Time people, that would be... So, five, so... Seven o'clock, which isn't too late. For my Central Standard Time people, that would be... Six o'clock. And then for my Eastern Standard Time people, that would be... Four o'clock. So... Yeah, not too late, especially because I know, um, like, even if you're homeschooled, you still go to school till a certain time. I know that for a fact that I'm homeschooled. And, you know, if you don't have any after school activities, you should be able to make it. scheduled next time I will definitely schedule my live streams so that way I don't miss y'all I will do that after I finish off this video which is in three minutes which we have enough time to sleep stuff like that. still trying to figure out how to live stream from a mobile device. I know that wouldn't be shocking to some of y'all, but it's fine. The plastic cooler. The plastic cooler is like across the lake. Realize a video I should do. Um, I should do a video on all of the I can't think. Uh, all of the items. Yes, all of the items where you can find them. Or at least the locations that I know of. There are some that I don't know of, but I'm going to show you the locations that I know of. Hello, Toast, Jelly Bean, Sunbeam, Marshmallow, and Everest. Ooh, I can't wait to see all of these pups grown up. It's going to be so cool. And we can just sleep. And by the time we wake up, it should be time to end off this video. And then I gotta edit and post. One video at least. Which is Monday's episode. Wednesday's episode, I mean, Tuesday's episode, can be, can wait till, to be uploaded till Monday. And I'm gonna wake up here because, oh, looks like it's time to end it off here. So if y'all like this video, then you might like others. Make sure you give this video a good, oh, pause up and subscribe. I really do hope you enjoy it. Make sure you leave a comment down below. I really do hope you enjoy. Make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. And bye, guys.